Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as a chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people you're here for. Bear, gather yourselves together. O nation, not desire. You Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, come back to who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ. Do it now. Not later. Not tomorrow. Not next week. Not next month. Not next year. But now. Gather yourselves together. Do it now. Look, look, O nation, not desire. You are a nation that no one desires to be like. No one is on a campaign look, spending millions of dollars to help you Israelites out, alright? The, all these nations have come together to come against you. So the Lord is basically telling you, the nations that are coming against you, come, come to me and I will protect you from them. But what is the majority of our people doing? Being rebellious. Not taking heed to the word. The scriptures say what again? Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yay. But, but, but one thing about it, the remnant, that small remnant, they're going to gather their steps together. You know, before the Lord bring his fierce anger upon this earth. And, and that's what you see going on right about now, right? You see? Oh, nation, not desires. Can, can't you see that these other nations hate you? You know, that they've been on a campaign to destroy you? You know? Look at the condition of you. Look at the condition of the average Israelite, Negro, Latino, and Native American. You got your sellouts. They got a little bit of money. But look at the majority of us. Poverty-stricken neighborhood, drugs, crime, you know, in prison, homelessness. You, you, you see it every time you open your eyes, right? It says, before the, before the decree bring forth, right? Before the day pass as a chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. So the Lord is like, yo, you better seek me. Because I'm about to bring wrath upon the majority of my people, right? Before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. But I thought the Lord was all love though, right? That ain't what this scripture is saying. It says, seek ye the Lord. Search for him. Look for him. All ye meek of the earth. Now when you're meek, you're humble. Because the Lord resists the proud. The majority of our people, they got that pride demon on them. So what they think, look, they too good. They don't need the Lord. They got it all. You know, they got the job. They got the house. They got the cars. They got the clothes. Bank account got some money in it. I mean, all hell breaking loose. And you say, you still taking your time seeking the Lord. The Lord is who's bringing all the, all the death and destruction that's happening. It's the Lord bringing it. Wouldn't it be a smart move? Wouldn't it be an intelligent move to run behind the entity that's actually bringing the death and destruction? But, but no, Israel's too proud for that, right? Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Slavery won't enough. The slave ships won't enough. Post-slavery won't enough. It, it, won't, it won't convincing enough. That we should seek the Lord. Our people are like, nah, I, I need some, I need you to do more into me. You know? And I, I need to catch more hell. 
and then I might seek you. That's what basically two thirds of our people are saying. Because we give them the word and they say basically I'm not going to hearken to it. You know? All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. We say the evils shall not overtake nor prevent us. That's what our people say. No matter how rough it get, no matter how bad it get. A famine, race wars, class wars, civil wars, concentration camps. They're like, yo, I'm still not going to seek the Lord. And, and do they have to say it verbally? No. Actions speak louder than words, right? Actions speak louder than words, right? Which have brought his judgment. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. Turn back from your wickedness. It may be you shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Cause look, cause that's what the God of the Bible is coming with. He's coming with anger, man. All right? He's coming with fury, you know? He, he, he said he will bring evils upon the world, the sword, plague, famine, pestilence, to waste their houses with death and destruction, but you refuse to turn back. Some cold, cold, harsh days are fastly approaching Israel. Sarah, chapter 5, and we read these scriptures all the time. But guess what? It's the Lord having us read these scriptures back to back, back to back. You know, letting you know the seriousness of seeking him, right? Sirach 5, 7, make no tearing to turn to the Lord. Yahweh Bashim, Shai, the word tearing means to take all day, pretty much to wait. It says, make no tearing, don't wait. And then one, one might ask, look, why the hell are you waiting to seek the Lord? With everything that's going, all this death and destruction, all this mayhem going throughout the four corners of the earth, you still like, hmm, I'm going to wait for the right time to seek the Lord. No, do it now. Make no tarrying to seek the Lord. And put that off from day to day. For suddenly, when something happens suddenly, it catches you off guard. For suddenly, shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. The wrath of the Lord is coming. Hey, hey, he gonna use these different nations to bring wrath upon you Israelites. Do, do you not see that? Are you not reading the Bible? It says, blessed are those that read and those that hear the words of this prophecy and take heed to it, right? For suddenly, suddenly, man, shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. And perish in the day of vengeance. And that's what's going to happen to the majority of our people. They're going to perish in the day of vengeance. Remember, think not that I came to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. You Israelites are going to die a horrible death. St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels of heaven, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. Same thing. Ain't nothing new up under the sun. They're doing the same thing now. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came. They didn't know Noah was telling the truth until it started raining. Just like starting with the head apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, they don't believe what we're saying. And so all hell break loose. Then, look, then it's going to be too late, just like in Noah's times. When it started raining, it was too late to repent, man. It was too late to say, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Give me one more chance. Save me and my family. Look, look, that day is fastly approaching Israel. Stop being so damn proud and seek the Lord, man. But look, look, or not, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Now, we, we just read that the day of the Lord, you know what I'm saying, is, is very terrible. And look, it's full of wrath. He look, he's coming with anger. I mean, over and over and over again, the Lord tells his people. That's why, that's why when that judgment comes, it's going to be so harsh. It's, it's going to be so harsh, Israel. 
harsh. You know? Man, you got to bear it, though. It's going to be unbearable, but you're going to have to bear it, right? Amos 5, 4, for thus saith the Lord and to the house of Israel, seek, 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 search, find me, and ye shall live. It's, it, it, it's millions, it's billions of Israelites on the face of the earth. Only that small remnant is going to seek the Lord and live. Two thirds, 66.6% .6 of the Israelites are going to die a horrible death, man. The Lord, the Lord didn't want them to seek him anyway. The Lord didn't want you anyway, man. You know, you act like you're doing something when you don't seek the Lord. The Lord didn't want you anyway, right? We, we, we see that now. Family members being taken out. You know what I'm saying? By the boatload. Through. You, you, you gonna wish you sucked the Lord, man. You know? This is Jeremiah 6. 16. Thus said the Lord, stand ye in the way and see. And ask for the old paths. Wherein, where is the good way? And walk therein. The search of your fathers, right? And ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said two thirds, the ones that's tarrying, the ones that's taking their time to seek the Lord, right? But they said, we will not walk therein. Also, the, uh, two thirds of our people basically saying, I'm going to keep celebrating Christmas. I'm going to keep celebrating my birthday. I'm going to keep eating pork. I'm going to keep eating shrimp, crab, lobsters. I'm going to keep doing these abominable works. I'm going to keep being wicked. I don't, I don't want to hear what y'all got to say about that Bible talk. That's what the majority of our people got to say, so the Lord gonna kick your ass, man, for saying that. Also, I said, watchmen, over you saying, hearken, meaning listen to the sound of the trumpet. Right? But they said, we were not hearken. So pretty much, you're destroyed for the lack of knowledge. You rejected the knowledge of the Bible. The Lord is gonna reject you, right? Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed. For the lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the Bible. Which is going to keep you stable, right? And, and, and that's, the, that's the insane thing about it. The only thing that can keep you stable. When all hell break loose. You rejected it. The scriptures call you a bunch of fools, man. My people are destroyed. For the lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the Bible. I will also reject thee. When you need some food, you're not going to get it. When you need protection, you're not going to get it. You need water, you're not going to get it. You need help, you're not going to get it. You need a place to stay, you're not going to get it. You know? You need some cover because you're sleeping outside to get you warm. You're not going to get it, man. You need protection from the animals that's trying to eat you alive. You're not going to get it. You know, you need protection from the Gurkha troops. You're not going to get it. You need protection from Sleazy E. You're not going to get it. You know, you need protection from the race wars, the class wars, the civil wars. Look, you're not going to get it, right? You're not going to get it, man. You rejected the knowledge, right? I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest of me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. So it's going to be you and your children in the same boat. It's going to be you, your wife, and your children in the same boat if you don't seek the Lord. You think this is a game. Oh yeah, it's just a novel. Nah, nah, it's real. It's prophecy, man. And it's going to get so bad out here, you're going to see death and ain't going to be able to find it. But the Lord said, look, I'm, 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 you're going to go through it, right? Destroy for the negative. You see how people, red hair, green hair, blue hair, dreads all the way down to the floor. It had tattoos everywhere, you know? Revelation 9, 6. And in those days, the days that are fastly approaching, it, look, the Lord going to let you take Maxine. You ain't going to be able to, de to deny Maxine. You're going to take that chip, the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. And, and you most definitely done in that day. You're going you gonna to taste the missiles, right? Revelation 9 and 6. And in those days shall men see death. It's going to get so bad. Men are going to see death. 
Right? The Lord. You didn't want to seek the Lord. The Lord. The scriptures say, seek the Lord. Why he may be found. Since you didn't want to seek the Lord, look, you're going to seek death, right? And in those days when all hell break loose, look, look, men shall seek death and shall not find it. Look, look, you know it's got to get real bad if you're seeking death, man. Death, where are you? Death, where are you? And then death ain't nowhere to be found. You know? You can't kill yourself even if you try to. That's how bad it's going to get and the Lord going to let you go through it, right? And shall not find it. And shall desire to die. And death shall flee from thee. And death, man, is going to flee from you. Meaning the Lord's going to have you go through it. Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. While the men of the Lord are still making these edifying videos. While we still out there on the highways and byways. Seek the Lord right now. Do it now, Israel. Do it now, Israel. It's going to get bad out here, Israel. Death on top of death, Israel. It look real bad, real cold. The love of many is waxing cold already. It's going to get colder, though. It's going to get cold as ice. You know? The love that people have for each other is going to get cold as ice, man. In the words of Rick James, it's going to get cold blooded, man. You know? This is Deuteronomy. Chapter 4. Let me just go straight to the point. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 29. But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh thou shalt find him. You hear this word, you start seeking the Lord, you're going to find him. If thou seek him with all thy heart, meaning your mind, and with all thy soul. Right? When, look, when thou art in tribulation, when all hell come upon you, and all these things are come upon thee, even in the latter times, in the latter days, the, one, the times that we're living in now, if thou turn to the Lord thy power, and shall be obedient unto his voice, right? For the Lord thy power is a merciful power. He will not forsake thee. Neither destroy thee, nor forget the covenant of thy fathers, which he swore unto them. Look, that's if you seek the Lord, Israel. He said, but he said he's going to deliver you from trouble if you seek him, Israel. You know, because look, 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 man don't know his time. You know, Said, said the father is the only one that knows when he's going to send his only begotten son. Well, we don't know. We don't know Israel. So, so why play around? So why play around with time? Why play around with time, Israel? Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 12. For man also knoweth not his time. You don't know when the Lord going to take you out of this earth, man. You don't know. As the fishes that are taken in an evil net and as the birds that are caught in a snare so are the sons of men snared in an evil time when it falleth suddenly upon them when it falleth suddenly upon them it's pretty much a lesson on seeking the Lord man look look seek, seek him early seek the Lord shall alone.